Okay, this day in rock, November 14th, 1960, Ray Charles went to number one on the U.S. singles charts. It was his song, Georgia On My Mind, a cover of Hoagy Carmichael's 1930 standard. That would become the first of three number one hits for Ray Charles. And it was also on this day in 1970 that Black Magic Woman from Santana and also the song Domino from Van Morrison, they both entered the U.S. Top 40 charts on this day, all right? Domino hit number nine on the U.S. charts, becoming one of Van Morrison's best-known songs, and Santana went to number four. Let's talk about that uh, album, Abraxas. That album went to number one. Man, what a great album from Santana, Abraxas. And on this day in rock, 1980. Hit Me With Your Best Shot from Pat Benatar became her first top 10 single. That's off of her album, Crimes of Passion. Great album from Pat Benatar. And one of David Letterman's top 10 musical moments occurred on this day in rock in 1987. That was Sonny and Cher getting together for the first time in 10 years to sing the song, I Got You Babe. They did that with David Letterman on this day in 1987. Hey, let's talk about Whitney Houston and the song I Will Always Love You. It entered the top 40 charts on this day in 1992, spent 14 weeks at number one. That's Dolly Parton's song, I Will Always Love You, which, by the way, was number one on the country music charts twice for Dolly Parton. This song spent 14 weeks at number one. It became one of the best-selling singles in music history, and it stands out there as the best-selling single of any female vocalist in rock music history. That is a powerful song, I Will Always Love You. And finally, on this day in 1997, the Bee Gees, they're booked into the MGM Grand Hotel. That becomes the biggest, the largest sellout crowd in Las Vegas history. That's the Bee Gees doing that. Okay, there's a couple of things on this day in rock, November 14th, just for you. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Mark Waldy.